If you're trying to learn design, looking for a vector program or a free alternative to Illustrator, you've got to try Figma. There's a link in the description. Go try it for free right now. So Figma is like the best vector design software, and there's so much that you can do with it. This is a professional software used by Netflix, Spotify, The New York Times, Stripe, you name it, the list goes on and on. In fact, if you're searching for a design job, you've probably seen the word Figma pop up a lot under the requirements of the job or what they want you to know, right? Some Figma experience. This is the program. It's a vector program and it's amazing. With a design software trusted by so many major companies that's free, you should just click that link right now and get started. So let's check out some of the design tools and some of the features here. First off, you can co-create anything. So you can work with other designers on the exact same project at the exact same time. You can create vector graphics and design more efficiently with a lot of the different tools like auto layout. You can easily design for any device. You can create design systems. This is a huge one in Figma. So being able to create design systems of color styles, typography, and more, and be able to have those assets for your own use in a library or to be able to be used by the entire team. Now it's collaborative, so multiple people can work on the same project at the exact same time. The other thing too is that you can invite people that are not designers into this project. Any stakeholders in the project that are making decisions around it can come in and leave their comments on top of it. And so within Figma, there's actually commenting a, a commenting tool where you can make comments, read through them, have discussions, and better design whatever you're working on. You can organize everything into these different workflows and branch off different iterations of your designs. Some of the tools in Figma are just so much better than Illustrator when it comes to creating vectors, rearranging layers, and my favorite is spacing and alignment. Figma understands spacing and alignment. And as you're working, you're gonna see that and be able to add padding around different objects and be able to automatically line things up in a grid pattern or in a layout that just works. There's tons of different type customization, especially with variable fonts and open type fonts. You can do anything with typography in Figma, and I believe typography is even a little bit better in Figma than it is over in Illustrator. Now here's a major one that Illustrator does not have. It's called prototyping. So you can create prototypes or basically interactive modules of your work. So if you're trying to show how something would function. If you're trying to build an app or a website and actually make it clickable for someone to actually go through the flow of the product, you can do that in Figma. And it's actually really easy. Just basically link up your different designs. You can tell it to animate between those designs. You can have buttons. You can have all sorts of different uh, animated elements and be able to connect all these interactions. You can have hover animations. You can scroll throughout the product and this is for web design, this is for apps, but this is also to show really anything. You can prototype anything. So if you start to imagine, oh, I could prototype a presentation if I wanted to and make it really cool and interactive and kind of display it using Figma. Or I could prototype something else that our team is working on with like a, a video interactive board. I've thought about this in the past. I wish I could have prototyped some of my digital signage things that I used to create, where I would create these interactive boards for people to walk through. Um, I used to create facility tours where the presenters would actually have a big interactive TV behind them and they could just walk through the presentation. And I can remember back then having to actually build the thing as the prototype, whereas this would have created uh, so much less friction with that process. I could have shown them what was up. They could have left comments on it and we could have made adjustments quickly. That would have been so much smoother 10 years ago for me. Making the experience feel real is, is what matters here. And it can sell your design even more than a video or even more than just showing the different stages or the different you know storyboards of your design. So being able to prototype uh, websites, being able to prototype apps, being able to prototype presentations or any design project is a major plus for Figma here. Also, we talked about design systems. Design systems are awesome. They are so efficient. Once you kind of do the legwork in the beginning to turn all the different pieces and parts into a system in Figma, Figma works great 
with design systems and it can save you a lot of time. And this doesn't have to be some major system. This can be just little bits and pieces. That's what I did. I used a few different colors, a gradient, some typography, and kind of put those together into a little system that I can just create little drop down menus. And when I create new elements, I can quickly apply the perfect color that I've used before in the design or the perfect typography that I've used before. And that creates consistency in your designs. Actually, consistency is the word right here. So being able to be consistent with the design, creating components. Components is another big factor here in Figma, which is like reusable assets. So anything that you're building out and using it multiple times, creating a component out of it, out of it allows you to really structure out your design and kind of reuse different elements. It also allows you to replace, which is a major plus. You can create one component and create variables or variations of that component and be able to replace designs or choose or select what goes where and have it all be so consistent. You can scale your designs easily from language scaling to actual, uh, you know, like auto layout scaling. There's so many different uh, features here in Figma that Illustrator doesn't even touch on. And I think that's why being able to have something that also bridges the gap between creatives and developers. So if you are working on a project like that, whether it's web design or an app design, being able to go from that creative process straight into actually Figma has something called dev mode is, is a huge plus to be able to kind of bridge those two, uh, you know, different types of design and development together is something that is a massive time saver and really allows you as a creative to be able to create, but also understand that you're going to be able to translate that creative to what the developer needs. Another cool thing with Figma is called Fig Jam, which is like an online whiteboard uh, situation here where you can do a lot of planning. You can bring everyone in. You can, you know, maybe have a topic of discussion. And like on this one, you can see they set a timer. They're all kind of putting in these different ideas and then picking the best idea and then starting to create a flow of how that idea would work. So being able to just have a whiteboard session online with all of your teammates and be able to schedule things out and maybe start to, you know, brainstorm what the project's going to look like is, is amazing. And this connects directly to Figma. So being able to do all that with your team and kind of prototype out not prototype out, but storyboard out what the project's going to look like, what the project, you know, timeline is going to be, uh, can save you a lot of time on the front end and also give you this digital workspace where anybody can work on it together. So if you're not there in person together with a real whiteboard, you have this online whiteboard tool. Now, all this said, you're probably like, how, how is this free? And you're right, there is a professional version, but there's also, if you just want to work on this on your own and do projects, there's a free version where you get three Figma and three Fig Jam files. However, you get unlimited personal files. That means that when you're creating your projects, you just get an unlimited amount. Each project is kind of like a folder, and inside of that project, you get pages. And those pages are basically their own little mini projects that are related to that one. So you can, it's kind of like when you open up Illustrator and you have one big blank canvas, just call that one page. You get three pages per project, three unlimited blank canvases. Now, if you are on the pro version, and actually, interestingly enough, if you're a student or a teacher, it's actually free to get the pro version. So click this link when you go to the pricing page, and you can just go to uh, basically getting verified as a teacher or a student, and you can get the pro version for free. But regardless, I've been using the free version. On this computer, I only have the free version. I used the pro version, I think, and I'm not even sure if I needed to for Pacers Gaming. Uh, but the, the free version allows you to create an unlimited amount of projects. You really could just build it. I mean, like Illustrator, it's not like we use different canvases. We just go in and create everything on one canvas. You can have artboards. They're called frames in Figma and you can auto layout on those frames, which is pretty amazing. There's a lot of different things in here, and I would recommend you just start trying to recreate something. That's exactly how I started to learn Figma. 
I just started to recreate things within the program itself. But seriously, you've got to go check it out. Click that link in the description, get started for free, and literally maybe you'll just never even have to pay for it. You can just literally use Figma for free. Also, you can use it in the browser or you can download the desktop app. Either way, and it works on Windows and PC and everything just auto saves to your account. Guys, this is this is literally the best Illustrator alternative that is free that is out there.